what is vaccine hesitancy? Vaccination is one of our most important tools for keeping individuals and populations healthy. But for it to have its greatest impact, people need to get their recommended vaccines. We can only fully enjoy all the benefits vaccination has to offer for health and well being across all ages when there is high vaccine uptake. But why are there gaps in uptake? There can be a mix of context specific factors that contribute to low uptake a lack of access, affordability, weak social norms, a lack of trust in the vaccines themselves, government or health workers, information gaps or hesitancy. To understand and address uptake issues, we need local data on people's beliefs and experiences, or what we call behavioral and social drivers of uptake. Immunization programs should regularly gather and use local data on these drivers of vaccination to guide their planning. This data can reveal new insights that may have been previously unrecognized or help fill in gaps in knowledge. Perhaps it can offer a deeper understanding about the root causes of under-vaccination. For example, a single mother has three children and might have missed some doses for her youngest child. Is she now hesitant? A closer look at the data reveals that she was simply too busy to arrange added childcare as services were not well-timed. In addition, the transport fees weren't easy to cover. In another example, a newly relocated migrant family were delayed in vaccinating their children. Their community was suspected of mistrusting local authorities. Some rapid research identified added issues. They were struggling to navigate language barriers and felt intimidated by the long waiting times for vaccination and health services. These two examples illustrate the need to work from local behavioral data to diagnose the cause of low uptake. Just because someone is not fully vaccinated does not mean they are declining vaccination or hesitant. So what is vaccine hesitancy? Hesitancy is about someone's level of intent or willingness to get vaccinated. They might be undecided or delaying vaccination. We need to offer a tailored response and still encourage vaccination. Behavioral data might also reveal an older adult has some questions or concerns after being exposed to rumors online and comments from neighbors about new vaccines being unsafe. This could mean a lack of confidence that vaccines are safe and effective. Low vaccine confidence is not the same as vaccine hesitancy, but it might contribute to it. This older adult may have differing levels of vaccine confidence depending on the vaccine in question and other factors. For instance, although she might not trust a new vaccine that she sees as unproven, she may readily roll up her sleeves for a decades-old tried-and-true vaccine. She may also decide to get the new vaccine if her well-trained healthcare provider recommends it. These typical examples represent the complex issues behind low uptake. Once immunization programs have a better understanding of these issues, they can use data-driven and tailored interventions to strengthen population trust in vaccination and increase vaccine demand and uptake, leading to happier and healthier people.